here. We have uh, Cabernet behind the curtain. Cabernet behind the curtain. The so, shower curtain, that is. Uh, so today we have the 2007 Mount Peter Cabernet in her glass. In mine. And the 2009 Edge Cabernet. Both Napa Valley properties, right there. There we go. So the thing of it is, we thought, I thought, it'd be interesting to see yeah, I'm not what, gonna for this. what effect um, the steam and whatnot from a shower would have on the wine tasting experience. Yes. So, that said. Yes, you can definitely smell. You have a much better sense within the olfactory senses with hot water around you, or the, the, the steam, than you do in a normal setting. So here we are right. in the shower, folks. Tasting a couple of Napa Valley cabs, and why not? Really? Why not? Why not? Not. Okay. So, um, what are you getting on yours, Peter? I'm getting wet. You're getting wet. I'm getting wet. <laughs> um. So I'm getting uh, a bit of charcoal kind of notes to it. Um. Also yeah. getting some sort of buttery croissant vibe going on. Yeah, and a lot of red fruit, I think, with the with the Mount Peter. Whereas here yeah, I have more uh, black fruits. I get a little bit of that uh, tar paper and mm -hmm. uh, um, asphalt. Um, so right. some some nice uh, nice tones in there. Right, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, and so the whole like shower experience, what that's adding to it is um. It's getting us wet. Well, it's certainly getting so. However, it's a huge juxtaposition when you're looking at what's going on here in the palate and then what's going on in the rest of your body and whatnot. Can you turn um, the heat up a little bit? Uh, very nice wine, lots of great flavor, a little bit of smoke, a little bit of um, uh, currant, a lot of black fruits. It's quite nice. I like it. Cheers to wine in the shower. Cabernet behind the curtain. Indeed. Try this at home. Thanks for joining. Bonsoir.